Hello, welcome to Limerick Museum. My name is Matthew Potter and I'm the curator and I want to welcome you here today to talk to you about the wonderful collection of GA memorabilia we have here. I'm delighted also to be collaborating with Sporting Limerick on this project and in particular due to the COVID-19 crisis, it's great that we can speak um, virtually about this particular collection. Since 1888, Limerick has won a total of 10 senior All-Ireland finals. This is because the 1887 All-Ireland football final was actually played on the 29th of April 1888. Many of us would be surprised to learn that Limerick's first All-Ireland was in fact in football. And Limerick won two All-Ireland football finals in 1887 and in 1896. In fact, it wasn't until 1897 that Limerick won his first All-Ireland hurling final. And this win was then followed by further wins in 1918, 921, 1934, 936, 1940, 973, and of course, 2018. Since 1913, almost all All-Ireland finals have been played at Croke Park. And until 922, counties were represented by their club champions, not by a team drawn from the entire county. On the 18th of April 1916, only a week before the outbreak of the Easter Rising, the death occurred in Dublin of Frank Deneen, the only person to be both President and Secretary in the history of the GAA. A native of Ballylandros County Limerick, he had also been responsible for the GAA's acquisition of Coke Park in 1913. Deneen's career is only one example of the prominence of Limerick in the GAA and the GA in Limerick. Indeed, 1916 was an extraordinary year for Gaelic games in the county. Limerick was represented by two separate county teams, affiliated to two separate organisations, and the secretary of the GA County Board was jailed for demanding that two policemen pay the admission fee to a match like everyone else. The Gaelic Athletic Association had been founded in Hayes Hotel, Thurles, on the 1st of November 1884. Among the first clubs to be established in Limerick were South Liberties, St Patrick's and Commercials in the city, and Maru, Castle Collin, Bally Landers and Boher in the county. The first Limerick County Board was set up at a meeting organised by Anthony Mackey of Castle Connell a cousin of famed hurler Mick Mackey, in Limerick City Hall on the 15th of January 1887. Limerick City Hall was made available to the GA by the then Mayor of Limerick, nationalist Francis A. O'Keefe. Patrick O'Brien of Limerick City became the first President and Michael Looney of Carrick and Lish became the first Secretary of the Limerick County Board. Later in that same year, Limerick, represented by Commercials Club, won the first All-Ireland football final, that of 1887. Although, in fact, it wasn't actually played until, 19, until 1888. For the first 20 years of its existence, the GA was divided by bitter disputes, both nationally and in Limerick. These were mostly caused by the role of the Irish Republican Brotherhood, also known as the Fenians, in the GA. The IRB hoped to use the GA both as a source of recruits and as a cover for their activities. From 1886 to 1888, the IRB took over the GA Central Council, a move strongly opposed by the Catholic Church. In Limerick, Anthony Mackey, Patrick O'Brien and Michael Looney were all members of the IRB. This resulted in the establishment of a rival county board in 1888 by Father Eugene Sheehy, parish priest of Bury, and granduncle of Dr. Conor Cruz O'Brien. Later, the parallel split also affected the GA, and as a result, it went into a steep decline in the 1890s, both nationally and in Limerick. It was during this time that rugby took hold in Limerick City filling the vacuum created by the GA's decline. 
However, from 1900 onwards, the Limerick GA underwent great revival. In 1902, the city board was established. In 1904, the Thoman Fesh was first held, jointly organised by the Gaelic League and the city board. And throughout this period, the number of clubs increased steadily. My friend, colleague and fellow historian Tom Toomey has written extensively on the National Association of Gaelic Athletics Club, a rival national organisation that broke away from the GA in 1915. He has told me that this dispute also affected Gaelic games in Limerick. In 1915, Federmore Club made contact with the NAGAC and was followed shortly afterwards by Croom. Thus it transpired that in 916 Limerick was to be represented by two county teams. In the Munster Senior Hurling Championship held under GEA rules, Limerick beat Clare in the first round rounds but was beaten by Tipperary in the Munster semi-final which was not played until the 10th of September at Dungarvan. Meanwhile, under NAGAC rules, the Fedemore croom combination travelled to Dublin on the 29th of October and beat Dublin in what was termed an All-Ireland semi-final. This qualified them for the NAGAC All-Ireland final, which was played at Wexford Park on the 10th of December against Wexford. Limerick won this the first All-Ireland under NAGAC rules by one goal and one point to one point. Jerry Piggott died in 2015 at the age of 91. Some years before his death, one evening in Herbert's pub on the Dublin Road near Listagry, Jerry had told James Moran and Kevin Herbert of a hand GA that he would leave them his magnificent collection of GA memorabilia. After his death, they decided to donate it to Limerick Museum in his memory, rather than break up the collection. So it was that James Moran and Kevin Herbert met my predecessor, Brian Hodkinson, then curator of the museum, and donated the Jerry Pickett collection to Limerick Museum at the end of 2016. Here's the hurley used by Mick Mackey in the All-Ireland Senior Hurling Final of 1940. And who can forget Limerick's All-Ireland win in the Senior Hurling Final of 1973? This is Joe McKenna's hurling used in that occasion. Here we have a pennant from the same period depicting the entire team and actually giving the score Limerick 121, Kilkenny 114, and the date and venue at Coke Park, Dublin, September the 2nd, 1973. And of course, before Limerick's wonderful All Ireland win in 2018, this team was the last team to have won an All Ireland final for many, many decades and thus acquired legendary status in Limerick GA circles. What we have on display here represents only a fraction of the very extensive Jerry Piggott GA collection. And we are very proud to be able to share these magnificent uh, objects with the people of Limerick. So for example, here is a very interesting and rare photograph of Limerick's 1887 first All-Ireland winning team the Commercials GA Club. They represented Limerick County at the final played on the 29th of April 1888 at Clonski in Dublin. Then we have another very interesting image of Limerick's 1897 first All-Ireland Senior Hurling winning uh, team, Kilfinnan GA Club, again representing uh, the county. And the final on this occasion was played um, on the 20th of November 1898 in Tipperary Town. The 1918 All-Ireland Senior Hurling Final wasn't played until the 26th of January 1919 
And this was played, of course, in Coke Park, and on that occasion, Limerick was represented by Newcastle West G8 Club. I think this is a wonderful image here of the legendary brothers John Mackey and Mick Mackey, taken in 1940, at the time when Limerick was at the height of its All-Ireland successes. Here are two hurleys from that same period. The hurley used by Paddy Scanlon in the 1934 All-Ireland final, and the hurley used by Timmy Ryan in the 1936 All-Ireland final. 